Mark Atherton with us here in the John Mandola Show. We're talking to Holy Redeemer soccer. Uh, Mark, you've been playing soccer forever, travel soccer. Talk a little bit about, you know, getting some experience as a young player in soccer and then, you know, traveling all over. Did it, did it just kind of grow on you or were you kind of at one point like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to keep doing this because you're a basketball player too. Oh, yeah. Well, I fell in love with the sport as a young age, probably like five I started playing. And I've just been playing ever since. I loved, uh, I loved playing travel. I uh, loved high school, you know, as a freshman, they took me in really good, and I just fell in love with it. You got a dad who's a basketball coach, but at the same time, he loves sports in general. So yeah. talk a little bit about his support, and I know your mom's a big fan, always at everything and anything you or your sister did, but uh, take us through what it was like with your dad with the, the sport of soccer. Is he just fully supportive of it? No, he's, he's the best with it. Um, you know, when uh, I play, he brings it back to basketball, and compares it to basketball and what like what I can do in soccer he'll compare it to basketball with it so it's a little basketball in the mix too as far as playing forward and, and you know being up top and, and being able to finish there's a lot with you know ball skills all that type of stuff let's talk about one of your, your teammates said there's a lot of good movement up front talk about how you guys put it together offensively yeah we got a uh, Cole, Cole Whitman and Colin Whitman up top and they're really dangerous to have a lot of goals on this season. Actually, Colin just came back from an injury, but he's playing great and was playing great before he left. And I'm up top, and I think we uh, work really good together in the mix up top, and we put some goals in the back of the net. Yeah, it all starts with the defense. So you know, I had some of those guys talk about the offense. Talk about the defense and what you like about your defense. Uh, well, first off, we got a great goalie in that Tyler Turner Licky. I think he's one of the best goalies out there right now, but. Uh, defense, you know, defense goes into offense, and I think we uh, really stepped up in the defense, especially when we had the injuries out. We had five guys out. They really stepped up, and, you know, that they put the ball in the midfield, and we put it up top and get the goal. So. Let's talk about Coach Davitt and, you know, his approach to the game, what he has, you know, continues to tell you and say, okay, I need you to do this. I want you to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm really comfortable. Like, Coach, I know what he's talking about, so I trust him. I think he trusts me as a player, too. But, you know, um, when we had the five injuries during the season, he really kept us calm and cool and uh, told us what we're going to do, and we trusted him, and it worked out. You had two parents that are educators, so I'm sure the academics is always emphasized, hey, I want you to go read, you got to study. Is it something that they still stay after, or is it like, okay, at this point, I'm a junior in high school, I got to just go do it on my own? Yeah, um, I'm pretty on top of my stuff. I try to be at least, but if I'm, you know, if I'm not doing something, they'll let me know. Basketball's coming around the corner, yeah. and another sport that you enjoy. Obviously, you want to finish out the soccer season on a high, but uh, let's talk about the sport of basketball and how much time you put into it. And, you know, is it, is it the burning passion for you? Is it something, hey, I'm going to go play it and do my best, but right now I feel a little better about soccer? Um, definitely feel a little bit better about soccer, but I still have a passion for basketball. You know, in the off season, me and my dad will uh, work out. He'll take me up to Crestwood and we'll get some shots up, do some drills and stuff. But when it's soccer season and all year round in soccer season for me, but you know, I'll, I'll still practice basketball and play. How about being a student of the game? Your dad, obviously a coach, your grandfather was a tremendous uh -huh. coach. Do you have that like little bit of inside of you of like that coaching mentality on the basketball floor? I think I do, honestly, but um, you know, after the game, my dad, uh, you know, he'll give it to me if I'm not doing something, but at the same time, he'll let me know what I'm doing right, and I kind of have that in my mind, too, as I, as I play. So, again, junior year, your, your future's ahead of you. How about as far as a major or a college? You're thinking, hey, I want to go a couple hours away. I might want to stay within, you know, 45 I'm gonna, minutes. I'm going to stay in PA. Um, I want to play soccer college as of now, but, you know, till that gets there. But I want to play in college. Um, thinking about business major right now, but definitely want to stay inside PA. As far as, uh, you know, the team and, and the camaraderie on the soccer field this year, Talk about the closeness of you guys there at Holy Redeemer, maybe knowing these guys for a few years playing together. Yeah, we got a good mix this year, freshmen all the way to seniors. So, you know, I've been playing with the seniors and sophomores even for a little bit now, and we got a great bond. And even the freshmen coming up, like, we got a great bond going. So, yeah. All right. Good to hear, Mark. Good to hear your story, and we wish you the best here. Thank you.